Australian interest, wouldn't you? Australian live music. All right, Russ Warwick, you're right here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. G'day, folks, and welcome to our um, our last swing at getting um, getting something going here. But uh, this is our last chance, as you know. Expressions of interest close at the Sand on Thursday. We're about to lose the voice. We are here in unfortunate circumstances with some of the greatest names here in Australian music, folks. Give them a round of applause. They've given their time for nothing. As Mark said, we are out the front of the money box. This building, we were all given money boxes by the Commonwealth Bank as kids at school. 
Were we not? Who ever thought that that symbolic money box would lead us here today to question this business, the Commonwealth Bank, and the terrible impact it's having upon our community? Who ever thought we'd need to call upon rock royalty, those who created the popular anthems of our time, and create this voice against this great injustice that's been committed to up to a thousand, a thousand commercial loan customers? There's something we read about that it happens to banks overseas. It doesn't happen in our own backyard, surely. Well, it is, and it's rotten to the core. The subject of shocking Four Corners expose, how once model Bank West customers had the tables turned upon them. That's right, the Bank West went broke. Not these customers, yet they're painted as the bad guys after the CBA bought them out. It's currently the subject of a Senate inquiry, with submission after submission outrighting the horrendous stories of the treatments by banks and worse still, the amazing human cost, the terrible human cost of these people affected. We're here today as musicians, photographers, artists, lovers and dreamers, but foremost as citizens who support the Sando as the voice for many thousands of more people who've been affected by this bank who don't have a voice. The thousand commercial loan customers that unhappy banking, Jeff Shannon over here is trying to help out. The CBA are forcing their staff to set pressure sales, turning them into pressure salesmen, forcing them to sell the highly profitable debt products to the people in their branches. We welcome representatives from the staff today and we speak for you as well. The cleaning staff who you may have seen recently who are forced to work for abysmal wages, we speak on your behalf. And as of just recently, the Storm Financial customers who you learned yesterday that they're the victims of another bum financial deal on behalf of the CBA. Well, they keep doing these things, yet they seem to keep getting richer and richer, and the people keep getting a poorer and poorer deal.